The slide in the Russian economy has pushed many here in the Siberian town of Irkutsk to turn to tram driving to make their living. Driving trams has become popular with people from all backgrounds, including former bank employees, entrepreneurs and managers. One tram driving instructor at the depot believes people are taking the jobs because they seek financial stability. There are a lot of reasons for working as a tram driver and the economic situation is one of them. So the reason is the crisis, because this is a state enterprise and here everything is paid, sick leave, vacations, everything. Two of the students that are currently training come from Guinea-Bissau. One of them came to the former Soviet Union in the 80s as a student at the Agricultural Academy. In the 90s, he opened a chain of shops, but as the economy has turned against him, his enthusiasm for business faded. I have business, business, business. I have been in business, business for many years now. Now on television, they say, we will help, we will help businessmen. But it's not true. On the contrary, they press and press. So there is no sense in doing business now. It's better to find some job. And business will take second place, although in the past it took first place. It's just business. Training mate Alexei Abramchuk came from Ukraine in the autumn because of the Russian military intervention in the east of the country. He said that the tram depot has helped him find housing and get his papers in order. In my home country, I used to work as a police detective. And the reason why I went to a tram depot here is because when I came to find a job in the private sector, it turned out that private businesses do not usually process any documents for official employment. And here, everything is official. They help me to process the documents. Novice tram drivers are paid 15,000 rubles a month, about $280. But with more training, they can get up to $457 a month. The Russian economy weakened in 2014 because of Western sanctions and a slide in the oil price. Inflation hit a 13-year high of 16.9% in March, following a rapid decline in the ruble late last year. But in recent weeks, inflation has shown signs of stabilizing as the ruble strengthens.